choosing a me to represent internet superstar Bricks O'Brien. No, I want to... No, wait. That's not the actual music. I thought it was going to go to the do, 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 do. Uh, so I have a couple different me's here. I could go with this really creepy looking Bricks O'Brien, but I'm going to go with the one that looks a little more like me when I had a little more uh, hair. Finally got a haircut, so that's cool. Uh, which one am I? Wait, I'm blocking the thing. Here we go again. I'm going to be blocking all sorts of stuff this entire time. Mamma mia. All right, move this real quick. All right, which one am I? I'm Brian Saviano. Hello, by the way. Kind, energetic, laid back, cool, airheaded, stubborn, or cautious? I would say I'm not laid back because I'm stressed all the time. And anxiety. Cool, I am a cool cat and kitten. But I'm also kind. Energetic only when I'm on camera. Airheaded? Nah. Uh, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with cool. I'm pretty cool. I'm Brian, I'm a cool type of person. Yes. I'm gonna go with that one. And hopefully that's an accurate representation of me. Hey, it's me, Topia, with your boy. Hello. This is a game that admittedly uh, snuck up on me. I totally forgot about it. Existing. Entirely. Until I saw people talking about it online. So, this was a game on the Nintendo 3DS, but now it's available on the Nintendo Switch. You can implement your own creation, me's, and I can actually take some from you. So, if you want to be in the playthrough, you can tell me by giving me a code. I don't know what the code is, but give me the code however you want to, and I'll add you into the game. I think that's pretty good. So, this is me, Topia. Uh, there's me's everywhere. There's also uh, stink bugs flying behind me. And they're, cr they're colliding into walls, and it's terrifying me that they're gonna land, like, on the microphone, but I hope that doesn't happen. Or at least it was. Oh! There was a thing that- Oh, the Mii's got their faces taken? The darkness came without warning, okay. A great and terrible shadow threatening all of Metopia. Oh. Oh, no. How terrifying. So the faces got taken? Oh, yes, they all did. An unspeakably evil fiend started stealing everyone's faces. And then to add it to the list of something... Into the- Oh, they all get robbed from, uh, from them and get turned into, like... Various evil things. The fiend gave the faces to monsters. Oh boy. <laughs> but it looks so calm and peaceful. I'm assuming I will be the one to save all of Metopia and restore balance to society. Behold a simple traveler. That's a me. Brian Saviano. Yeah. Oh, wait. <sighs> Another peaceful day. Uh, spoiler alert. If you actually see or hear the word or say the word yawn, you're tempted to yawn. I'm going to make you yawn right now. By saying yawn, it makes you want to yawn. So you're welcome. And scientists still don't know why that is. Figured out a lot of things in this life, but not that. So, there you go. Uh, there's a fa oh, okay. There's a face on you. Whoa, okay. Oh. You have eyes. Wow. Okay. I'm running. I'm running. Huff and puff, yeah. So, so this was a game on the Nintendo 3DS, and you could use various codes to input specific me's into the game and assign them different roles as far as I know. And I, I did not play it on the Nintendo 3DS. I've actually not seen much gameplay of this game really ever. So yeah, you can choose any me you like to play different roles. No pressure though, you can always switch things up later. Let's start casting the roles for which me's. Okay, so I can receive me characters. Is there an online database or do I need History? Your history is empty. Okay, so I need access keys. Okay. So by any means of the internet, give me the access keys for your Nintendo Me, so I can add it into the game and include you in the playthrough. All right, everybody? Just a, just a call into the wild of the internet. If you're watching this right now, give me your Me, just like M. Chase has over here. All right? I don't... That's pretty cool. Ravali? Look at Rav look at that Ravali over there in Ganondorf. 
And Link, wow, there's actually a, uh, there's, a, there's a lot over here. All right, so receive these me characters. Sure, all right. You got all the me characters from WM Chase. Okay, so I can switch these around. Why is there clout? Okay, I'm gonna receive, wait, I can swap them out, right? Oh, okay, I can go into here. So, oh wait, there's popular. Popular from what, what are all of the, what are these characters? Is this anime? There's a lot of anime go, there, this is a lot of anime, I think, or just, I don't know what. Oh, a penguin? Oh, you can do some crazy stuff with the me customizer. Also, if you don't plan on buying Miitopia, you can download the demo for free and make a me and just upload it into this system. So you could do that too if you wanted to, if you're tempted to do that. Uh, for now, I, you know what? I'm gonna, if I can change things later, I'm gonna keep everything the way it is. There's Link Marin, uh, Zangling, Zangling, I think. Sucrose, Cloud, Marnie, Revali, and Ganondorf. We're just gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna <laughs> see what happens, I guess. I, I don't know what the roles are for everybody necessarily, but I know that they're they're implemented in the game. So, yeah, give me your me's and I'll I'll, uh, I'll add you into the game. It's pretty cool. Hi, Link. Carefree guide, Link. Bit boring today, indeed. I will say. Huh? What's up with you? Monsters with people's faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be kidding me. So, uh, this game is an RPG, which uh, basically it, it means that it's a Role-playing game. You play as a specific sort of character with a uh, mission of some kind. Obviously, it's to save the faces of the the Mies, and yeah, you just you play through the game that way. So it can be it can be very long with lots of dialogue. So we'll see exactly what ends up happening. Again, I've never seen anything um, about this game, so we we'll just see where it goes. You know? Hey, what's that? What's- I think that's me. It's- it's mommy? Uh-oh. So that's a small child. Okay. This can't be good. Oh no. It's... The Dark Lord. A wicked presence from... Who rules the monsters from shadows. Choose a me to play the Dark Lord. Oh. So I wonder what the popular choices are. Ooh. Oh, so these are the ones that people have uploaded. And the ones from before were for specific roles. Oh, Scream? That's kind of... That's very terrifying. I will put somebody out there in this role. So, again, give me your codes by any means. J There's the bug. There it is. Stink bug, go. Don't... <laughs> this is not landing on the microphone. No. And the thing is with stink bugs is you can't kill them. Because then the smell of the dead body will bring more of them. So you gotta just flick them. Hold on. I used this bowl to scrape it off the lamp and yeet it across my office. I'm not dealing with any of that today. Laser focused on Metopia. Yep. Zombie. That's pretty terrifying. Uh, Darth Maul? That does not look like Darth Maul. The hair is purple. Um, I'll go with... Uh, it doesn't really matter right now. Venom! Ooh. Jack Skellington? Boo. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna change it out eventually anyways. Let's go with Boo. Why not? So yeah, you can customize the roles apparently at any time. That's great. So... I, I don't think I'll change the roles after I establish a new one. So... Whichever one of you gets to be the lucky Dark Lord, congratulations. I am the Dark Lord. Boo! I've come to wreak havoc and terror on this miserable little world, and I'm starting with you, the people of Greenhorn. Time to taste true fear. Say goodbye to your faces. Uh-oh. The face- uh-oh. Marnie. No, no, what's it- what's that thing's name? Mar Marine? Marie? I don't know. I only half paid attention during the Link Link's Awakening playthrough. I was very, uh... I was very confused by the vast majority of that game anyway, so. I guess he doesn't care about those other two faces. But he cares about Rivalis and whatnot. Oh, it's terrible. The, the faces. Oh, the travesty. Oh, the humanity. Hmm. This will do nicely for now. Listen up, you faceless freaks. How can they listen? They don't have ears. 
get used to a life of wordless terror because that's what you're, you're stuck with. Oh, they can't talk either. And you know what? They can't even do sign language because their hands are fists. That's got to be uh, detrimental to communication. They could probably do like this. I don't know. Whatever. All right. So he looks very sad. Actually, he doesn't look at all because he doesn't have a face. I <laughs> get it. No looks or anything. Worried, Mother Sucrose. There's England, my poor baby. Don't panic, don't panic. I I will not panic at all. Please help. Yes, I, it is my contractual obligation to do so because I bought this game willingly. Please take this. It's our family's good luck charm. It's a million dollars or an antique charm. If you're the Dark Lord still lurks nearby, you can maybe take a look outside of the town. Oh boy. So I need to take a look outside of this town. Um, so... I don't know how much it, it looks... I mean, it obviously looks high def, right? But I don't know how much better it looks compared to the 3DS version. I wish I knew any of the, the differences between the two. I could probably tell you about them, but unfortunately I have no idea whatsoever. Is someone trying to be the big hero? Of course. Not big hero six, but at least big hero number one. What, this whole thing? Maybe I will give you this back to you, but you'll have to earn it. Oh boy. How good are you in a fight? I would say incredibly good. Is that a little nugget of ice cream? It's a little yellow ice cream. I, I could have had a very non-friendly friendly joke, but luckily... I'm a professional. I'm not going to say what I wanted to say, but that looks like a very particular color. Snot, actually, yeah, it's not what I was thinking, it's snot. The family's thing is here and the voice is coming from it. You are the only hope. Brian, can you hear me? I don't know who I'm hearing, but I can hear indeed. Seems like you're hearing me. What good fortune is this? Now you may not believe this, but I'm kind of a guardian spirit. Abada habada ha. Just hear me out. I don't know how much of this dialogue I'll actually say out loud, but, you know, I'll, I'll walk you through. Oh, you can actually speed through things using B. Oh, okay. Your job is your key to defeating monsters. Now select the job you would like. Oh, this is just like in Kingdom Hearts, except it's a lot less creepy. Because in Kingdom Hearts, you're in this dark void of nothing and you have to choose everything. Whatever's tailored to you and it's very eerie. And it gave me nightmares as a kid. All right, so I can be a warrior, mage, cleric, thief, pop star, or chef. I was just about to say this is reminiscent of Dungeons and Dragons, but you cannot be a pop star in Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know what a cleric is. I'm not a nerd. I don't play D&D, &D, all right? I play video games for a living, not Dungeons and Dragons. Huh? I'll go with a mage. Oh, I, it actually tells you. Deal stupendous damage, blasting away enemies with magical might. The go-to support role tends to the party's injuries with divine magic. That looks like a- that looks like a priest. Uh, warrior. Wields powerful swords. Thief. Looks like an aviator. Pop star. Man- Wow, that's a look. That is a look. Wow. Alright. Inspires the party with boundless energy and magic of song. Well... I don't- I don't think the- <laughs> I don't think the- uh, that jacket with, like, no undershirt, that's not me. No, 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 no. Oh, that's certainly not me either. Let's, uh... I don't know, the chef is a little more on par. Cooks up- cooks up and stirs up trouble in equal parts with a trusty frying pan. Ooh. I am always cooking up the hotness. Hmm. Yep. I'm gonna go with the chef. Because there's always something spicy going on in the kitchen. You know how it is? I'm not going to be having the, uh... The, the open... The open whatever it was. <laughs> That's... That is, that is a look. Would you look at that? Ho oh, ho! Oh, hee hee! Ho oh, oh. ho! Just what you need to deal with the Dark Lord's fiends. A nice spicy hot pan of whatever I'm cooking up in the kitchen. Always, ladies and gentlemen. Always. And nothing hurts more than a frying pan. You know? Here goes nothing. All right, so this is, I believe, the battle interface I'll be using throughout the playthrough. Oh, boy. Mini Zingling Slime. If I'm mispronouncing that, sorry. But, all right, so I can do attack, magic, skills, or snacks. I'm obviously going to go for attack and choose that. And it looks like I can go uh, fast with B. Um, 
Aim for the weak spot there. And then I get two damage there. So it tells me, ooh, two more. So it's overall um, damage done. And also how much damage I do. Or what, what damage happens against me, actually. Reap. Ooh, so it shows me how many I've rescued overall. Cool. Um, I don't know if I'm able to change my uh, outfit or whatever over time, but I'm pretty sure that you'll get more uh, like classes of people over time. So that's good. You can have a well-balanced team. Now that child should be safe. Things are looking up. Time to make your way back to the town of Greenhorn. Yep. Okay. So I won't try to like skip through every single little thing, right? But I'm going to skip through some stuff, like the dialogue and whatnot, if it's just kind of whatever. Um, and the battles, if they end up being repetitive or whatever, I will do them off camera if that ends up coming to it. So that way I don't waste your time by showing you pointless battles uh, off camera. But we'll see where things go. I have my daughter. What the, Those anime eyes were made in the custom character creator in this game. You can't do that in the actual... Uh, me creator on the Nintendo Switch, but you can do it in this game. So that's cool. And thank you, kind traveler. Please, please take this. I got 200 G's. Nice. That's 200 money that I can invest in a cryptocurrencies and make a lot of money. Or lose it all. Now then, Brian, my child, I have another task for you. Uh, yes, you have seen the Dark Lords. The Dark Dews of the Lord Boo. Defeat the Vile Boo and save this world. Don't tell me what to do. I'm my own independent person. Now, Chef Brian, go forth, defeat the Dark Lord. I expect great things from you. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, hee. <laughs> oh, oh, hee. <laughs> great things from me instead of the Dark Lord. All right, so I'm off. Uh, you good, Cloud? Uh, Marnie's pretty face. Ah, now she can't even whisper sweet nothings. That's terrifying. All right. Oh, so I have to go forth and find the various faces. Ah, okay. So I should probably talk to the other people and see where their faces are. Yeah. Oh, I understand now. Oh, that's far. Okay. Now, I'm also assuming that that is not the entirety of the game. I could be wrong. But if that is the entirety of it, then that would be a relatively short game. Let's see where uh, the journeys take us here. Sarcastic Guy Rivali is probably way over here. Yep. Okay, well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We, we'll see. Hey, Mayor. Greenhorn used to be so peaceful, but then everything changed when the King Boo attacked. Yep, all right. Well, let me, let me get on my way here. Choose a me to play each traveler. Who are these people? Um, hold on, wait. Receive all me's from friends? I'll go with Mario Go. Yep, nothing there. Nothing there. Anything there? Uh... Oh, it's Guigi. Oh, this is, um... Oh, from, uh, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Kirby. Mario. That's a really good Mario. Alright, I'll, I'll take him. Shout out to Chase for, uh... Having some great Mies to pull from, I guess. I don't know. I guess... I guess that's how it works. So there's Mario. Alright, so I can go over here. Can I go over here? Does that matter? No, I can't. Alright. So I can only go on these circles, it seems like. The Eason Hills. Oh boy. The journey continues, as it normally does. What was it that I ate yesterday? Okay, so I can't actually... Okay. I can't walk around, I'm just gonna encounter whatever I encounter and that's it. The Rock Moth. Oh, they get the first turn on the attack? That's not fair. Alright. There's four. Yup, and two. I should have probably gotten heal items, and I guess I did something cool, so that's good. And then I get just eyes. Oh, the faces just fly right off the defeated monsters, eh? Whoever owned that face has you to thank it for freeing them. Just like with that sassy youngster you helped earlier. Put another way, defeating monsters helps people get their faces back. So keep defeating monsters. Oh, this is going to take a long time. I don't know how many faces there are in the game. I know there's infinite me's that are out there, but we'll see what ends up happening. Um, okay, so what's happening here? Oh, is it playing a replay? Why would I want to do a replay of the battle? 
Why would I ever want to do that? Okay. I got um, 2 HP, max attack, uh, uh, attack up by 1, magic, defense speed, and MP. I don't know what MP is, but all right. And then I got another ability as well, 5G. So this is basically what RPGs are. You're going to walk all the way through. I'm not actually moving anything. I'm not like, there's no controls or anything. It's just kind of there. I can't fight these things. Looks like you're having a tough time out there, Champo. Don't worry, help is on the way. Buddy, buddy, buddy. And I can receive more me's. So I'm going to need some help from all of you, man. All of you out there providing some me's, man. Let's go. Mr. Mario? I mean, Paper Mario? That's Paper Mario. He is, um... Definitely energetic. Yes. Absolutely. You are going to be... A... I don't know what you're going to be. Be a pop star? Hey, do you want to be a pop star or a priest? There's no in the middle. Uh, let's let's go with the mage, sure. For Paper Mario, no, 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 no. Warrior, yeah, for Paper Mario, that's gonna do it. I think that's just fine. And yeah, assuming I can still change all these, that's gonna be fine. How do I get here? Oh hey, let me help you. Yes, Paper Mario, please help me. I need all the help I can get. Especially considering the state of your franchise, you got to do some uh, some hotness there. Restore the friend's HP with some freshly made cooking. Well, that's nice. Let's defeat these rock moths real quick. And I cannot control the enemy player, or the other player, rather. It's just me, so that's fine. Uh, there's that, and then there's that. Beautiful, all right. So it's not even necessarily the entire face of some of these characters. It's just going to be, like, the eyes or something like that. So if it's going to be various parts, that's going to be a lot. Yes, you can join me, Paper Mario. Of course, why wouldn't I let you join me? Mr. Mario, join your party. Yeah. Cool, cool. Oh, hey, oh. So, so, so you're still in one plate, uh, one piece, huh? You and Mr. Mario should get to know each other as your uh, journey. Uh, the deeper your friendship, the more powerful you will become. Bon voyage. Hee hee. Oh, hee. Heading for the inn. I guess we are. Okay, so that route is complete, except for something on the ground, which is a banana. Just stumbling through the forest, and I found a banana. Not a bad way to go about it. All right. So maybe those random those encounters are kind of random, where you find some uh, some things along the way, or uh, they ate the HP banana together and they healed up. I have no control over that, by the way. Uh, even with me speeding things up right here, um, I have no control. So yeah, maybe those things are more automated or not. What on earth is that pose? It's like. That's terrifying. All right. And I don't know what designates me going first or not, but sure. There you go. Not even going to see how the goblin ends up uh, attacking me. Doesn't even matter. And we won, so that's good. And this this seems like relatively what you do. It's obviously going to get a lot more strategic as time goes on. But, you know, uh, that's just kind of how it is. I don't know how I found an inn. There's no inn around here at all. Um, found an in. Oh, there we go. Nice. Just happened to stumble all the way through. It's time for the two of you to pick a room. When two characters share a room, their relationship will naturally grow. Uh, so pop them in a room together to see how they grow. And it also saves a lot of money by rooming together. I will say that. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's make that happen. All right, do this. It's, it's called, it's called bonding, you know? You talk about life for a little while, you hang out, you do whatever. Um, check on the team, spend gold. Uh, uh, do I want to spend any gold? Am I good? Looks like somebody's hungry here, so... Uh, the food that you can find on your journey can be fed to your team members. Their stats will improve a bit as they eat. Alright, well, I want some breakfast ham. Oh, I gotta feed them favorite things, too? Oh, alright. Alright, so we'll feed that to you which I ate up. Absolutely. Nice. So yeah, you can really customize um, everybody's uh, different stats and how that affects everybody else. It's very different. So I'm going to leave this one for now uh, for spending gold. Shell out money for gold there. They may want snacks, which can be shared among the team. They may want something new, uh, but everyone, it happens to everyone sometimes, right? So you choose it for every single team member. And you don't necessarily choose what they want. They just want the thing. 
interesting. All right, I'm gonna go with nothing for now until I have enough for both people and then set off. So I'm gonna leave this one right here and set off in the next episode of Metopia. Give me your codes so I can add you into the game, all right? Talk to you next time for more Metopia. Have a good one. Bye.